Hello guys, welcome to FPG Design with High Level Synthesis. Actually, we are working with the Auto Atlas with High Level Synthesis tool. So let's begin with the today's session. Uh, actually, we are in section first, which is overview of High Level Synthesis. We got the Atlas, and we are in lecture three, which is lab first, counter design and synthesizing it on the Auto Atlas. So we already have talked about this counter source in C C++, and we are going to implement this counter on Vivard HLS and we are going to synthesize it and we are going to generate the corresponding SDL on the Vivard HLS. So this counter just count off from 0 to 14 or less than 15 and it resets again to 0 if the count is uh, more than 14 means if the count reaches to 15. So we have some delay element for seeing the output on uh, FPG or seeing the output on simulation. So let's uh, follow the design steps we are going to implement and follow over the design steps of these and let's go to Vivard HLS and create a, a new project create a new project and we are going to create a counter project. So let's uh, click on create a new project and we are going to create a project of counter as well as and we actually need to relocate this project on our source directory you can download that source which are provided with the video in the attachment and you can uh, click next after this project configuration option and we are going to import that file counter design file which is actually here so let's click on counter and we need to provide the top functions also in Vivard HLS so let's browse on it main counter.cpp is counter.cpp is our source and main is the top function so just click on main or even we can provide ourselves but if we have already have written our source then we can identify our top functions ourselves from browse option so let's do next and we don't have any test pens test pens must also be in c source so we don't have written our test pens until yet but we are going to provide the test pens in later and you can simulate this design later and let's do next and we talk about solution actually solution name is the overall package name where we uh, implement where we synthesize our design so overall process has been included in the solution one while same project might have different solutions solution one or solution different so we can do what process we need in that solution so clock period is 10 for Jai, uh, sorry, Jai board and clock period is 8 for Jaibo actually this is taken from the frequency of the Jai board and Jaibo actually Jaibo consists of 125 megahertz of clock and zinc Jerboard uh, consists of 100 megahertz of clock, so this is the clock period. And uncertainty is not necessary to insert here because it automatically scan from while we select the part. So let's go to here browse option for part selection. Actually, if you have Zybo, then you can select on CLG 400 series of FPG, CLG 400 uh, minus one. But we have currently have Jerboard, so we are going to select on 484 series of FPG. Which is actually this xc 7 j 020 clg 484-1 which is actually same for jailboard actually jailboard is also listed here so we don't need to search for part but searching for part is standard method if we don't have listed the board in the board section so let's click on jailboard actually this is have same part as we talked before so let's do ok and uncertainty and clock period is also automatically taken from this board properties so let's do finish actually this prepares and configure the project setting for us so after then we can uh, synthesize the design we can implement the design and even we can generate the IP means export the design into IP format so let's go to source and let's click on counter.cpp this is our main top source for counter design and this source actually written in C++ we can even have source of C and for synthesizing the design we can go to solution 
and we can go to run synthesis, C synthesis. Sometimes we also need to check the solution settings. Actually, you can go to synthesis and you can change the parameters for your board. And you can even click on co simulation if you have if you have some test bench or other thing. And for exporting, we have the configuration and properties here. Yeah. So we are going to use these properties later. So let's go to solution and let's go to run C synthesis. Actually, this is also provided here already here this is actually same so we can click on this and we can click on active solution this active solution is actually solution one we are going to synthesis this project for and including this synthesis report and the synthesis outcomes in the solution one so it is based on solution one so let's go to this and active solution click on active solution it will take some time for uh, creating reports generating reports and creating corresponding rtl or sdl so after then we can uh, see the console actually this console updates about the process happening process currently so after it says complete completion of synthesis actually this says finish C synthesis we can go to this solution one and we can go to syn actually this is synthesis we can see reports there are different type of reports and we have system C source actually this is generated from the C++ source and we have payload source and corresponding the PHDL source. So this source can also be exported to Vivado, but we can even export the IP. So we can even design our IP from SLS. So we don't need to go to Vivado and we can, we don't need to create a custom IP from Vivado. However, we can create IP from SLS. This is the same thing. And we can see the report here. So this report is target, uh, targeted for Zinc 7000 hardware and some latency report has not been generated if we implement the design or uh, export the design we can see the corresponding latencies and we can see the resource utilization actually this is not also a uh, completely generated report uh, we can even uh, we can even see summary of the report and we can see resource utilization actually we just have used one LUT and one two flip-flop this is uh, utilizing very less amount of flip-flop and LUT so else we don't have used anything so we don't need to worry about that so uh, let's uh, see main.psd actually this is SDL source generated from this C source uh, one thing we need to know about is this SDL source is uh, generated by considering the main functions, main parameters or variables and loops and even conditional statements. So the main.bhd or main.payload consists of different ports like clock, reset, start, down, idle, ready, return, etc. type of ports and these ports are unoptimized on SDL because this uh, conversion uh, makes the or utilize the some algorithm which is not always optimized on generation of SDL. So we can see here this AP underscore return port is actually 30 bit port. So we we get difficulties on implementing 30 bit output port on Jirbo or Jibo. So we need to optimize these ports and we need to customize these ports is our requirement is our output requirement. So we need to optimize these sources and we even need to optimize some functions and parameters or uh, state machine on the SDL source, which we are going to talk about in next section. So in this section, we are going to analyze some SDL and we are going to export. We are going to just see the export, how to export the uh, C source into the IP exact format. So we can see the corresponding entity and architecture etc and we have different state machines actually this algorithm SLS algorithm creates different state machines for implementing that C C++ source so we can even see the state machines in log source these both source are available here and uh, this is the source and we can even use this source on Vivado IP integrator but we are going to see the next process so let's go to here which is actually export rtl even we can get this export rtl from here 
and we are going to see the analysis options like how to analyze this uh, generated RTL source in another session. So we are going to show you the basic methodology, design methodology of HLS and we are going to also see the RTL co-simulation. We are going to create a test bench for another project in another section and we are going to see the simulation results in Vivado HLS. So let's click on export RTL. Actually this provides us the op option of exporting the C source into a IP format or IP core format and we can even uh, select the language format and we can even select the targeted format which is actually IP uh, universal for our Vivado IPI and what we need to do is just click on OK after this uh, completes actually this IP will be generated in the uh, implement option of solution 1 which will lie at the local directory of this and when we are going to see the corresponding IP in the current directory inside of solution 1. So it will take some time for uh, generating the corresponding IP. So after this IP generated, we can even import that IP in Vivado IP Integrator. So let's wait some time for this generation. Actually, our IP generation has been successful. So let's uh, see an implementation. So this implementation options appear after the export operation completes. We are also opening our Vivado uh, so we can import that counter IP in Vivado IPI. So we are going to see the import options or import properties functions. And we can see on the local directory of this uh, uh, implementation option. So we can see this is the main IP. This zip file is IP5. And we can have dialog and BSGL uh, project setting also here. We can see the project.xpr. This project actually can be open with URO. So we don't need to open this dialog or BSGL option or project. We are going to import that IP. SLS main is our IP. So we can go to Vivaro and we can import that IP. So let's uh, go to okay, Vivaro and let's go to create new project. And as that is quite faster than Vivaro, but we need to be patient. We need to have patience about the. Uh, um, I would like to redirect the project uh, into the. Sorry. Actually, I have lots of directories, so quite sorry about that. Sorry again. And I just need to have these, and I just need to have these, and I don't need to have inside of this project. Okay, just click on project one, and we can go to next, and we can even do next, and we can select even parts. But this is not necessary actually. I'm just going to show you how to import that IP on Vivaro IP integrator. First of all, we need to uh, relocate our IP directory inside of that IP folder. After then, we can import that IP uh, in our IPI design. So let's create a new block design. After then, we are going to refresh our IP repository. And we are going to add the IP repository with current IP location. So let's go to project setting and let's go to IP. Let's go to IP repository manager. We are going to add the repository. Actually, we are in this directory and our IP is inside of it. So let's click on solution. Even it must synchronize the current IP. So we edit the IP. So let's click on this and we have IPF solution one. So let's click on OK. And we are going to close up it. You can even see our IP on IP integrator. So this is our IP main. So let's close this IP IP catalog and let's go to add IP. This is our IP. So our IP name is main. Uh, actually, we missed up with one thing. So what we have to do is we have missed up one thing so let you show you so in configuration we have provided the vendor name actually we provided vendor name is digitronics space nepal so that space is not supported we need to provide a single sentence 
So instead of that, we just erase that is running Snapal vendor name and we have click on OK and we have generated our uh, IP catalog, bare log type of catalog. So after then, uh, after then we just uh, uh, exported or we just created that IP in the current directory. So we don't need to worry about that. And and what we did is we just refresh our project IP repository setting and we can delete this repository and we can add the current repository. This is IM implementation section. This IP consists of our IP generated. So after then we can see the IP and we can apply it and we can OK, click on OK. After then we can go to plus and our IP name is main. So this is available here currently. So let's click on this and this is our IP. So this IP actually consists of and this is actually a uh, normal IP. We don't have any AXI bus protocol inside of it. So we can see we have this type of single. So for interfacing with this uh, IP, we can implement this project on FEG by making the external all the ports. Like we can make these ports external. So, sorry and even we can export this port into XML. after then we can plan for constant now we can create a agile wrapper and we can we can regenerate it we can even validate it and then after we can create a agile wrapper and we need to have constant let me do it. We need to have constant for this IP block. Actually, this IP block is complete block. We don't have any necessity of other interfaces like Jing PS or other like AXI bosses because we don't have any AXI interface with this IP. This is IP consists of different inputs and one 32 bit output and other some outputs. So our uh, wrapper has been generated after this. We can Synthesize this, uh, synthesize, synthesize this uh, SDL source and we can even plan for a constant and we can run implement run implementation and we can generate it and we can program this IP on FVG. This is the IP design flow including the HLS design flow. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. Actually, we have created the uh, C source of uh, C++ source of counter and we have generated corresponding SDL including system C and we have imported that IP on Vivar IPI then after we have synthesized the design and we have implemented design we don't have completed the implementation but then after we can see the design so guys uh, thanks for watching we will continue with another section section 2 which consists of how to optimize this type of design on Vivar HLS and how to implement that design on Vivar IPI with Vivar IPI and generating on Zinc FPG.